There's not a lot of times that you can pick up a book, no matter what your age is, and get amazing nuggets of wisdom. That's what really stands out to me with my next author's book. His name is Stan Kosprick, and he wrote Suspended in Vast Plain. Welcome, Stan. Thank you. It's a pleasure, Suzanne. Uh, you know, I'd love for you to share the general message of the book, and especially how you're able to give these nuggets of wisdom no matter what your age is when you're reading this. That blows my mind. Uh, well, uh, one piece of advice, and uh, this is probably packed in my preface uh, of, of the book uh, when I describe the process of writing, is for the audi uh, for older audience that uh, writing is good, Reading memoirs is also good, but writing memoirs is the best uh, yeah. because it opens you up to 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 paper and potential uh, readers. Or uh, it might be your family, you might be you might get published. It depends, but it 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 uh, gives you some reason to dig into your past and into the meaning of what you did, what you couldn't do, and uh, into your life. It the, helps you recall a yes. lot of those ma amazing things and put it on paper. Well, so, that's yeah. that's digging is 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 also difficult. I mean, you can right. ask people what happened. You know, you can you can well, there is research. If if there is a relevance to history, then you go into internet and come and and put your timeline of 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 your life against against history. That's that's a great project. It lives forever. And then, how about for the young reader? Well, for the young readers, and I was a young person when the story took place, uh, is to be at the beginning of life, to be patient and persistent. So one mm -hmm. of the characters in the book actually tells me that. He's an African-American. Uh, he doesn't play a big role, but it is uh, an important message uh, uh, because in the young age, you want to be, you are, uh, run on, on adrenaline to get to your goals right away. Yeah. And uh, it's not, you have to keep control over this process. You have to be patient. You have to uh, not to be jealous, not to expect too much right away. Uh, and at the same time, you have to be a little bit more rational. People are emotional of course but also they have ways to be to be rational so it's always good to 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 look for advice to to, to rethink to figure out what what you are really in a rational yeah. way so stan i'm interested in the fact that this is uh, this book takes place over the recalling the three years in africa that is a place where you will learn patience not jealousy. You are you're really thrown into the fire, um, being outside of the typical American culture. What is the book about, and what prompted you to write it? Uh, well, first question: What is the book about? It has two halves. Uh, I would say two two sides of it, two legs. One is uh, the is is vast plain. It's a geographic location in Africa. Uh, and uh, where, where I spent, uh, when I was a lecturer at the university, as a very new, brand, brand new university, um, and uh, it is uh, full of hardships and, uh, you know, like, what about Hamatan? In January, February, every year, there is a dust coming, a wind that brings dust uh, from from Sahara from the desert from Sahara desert, and it covers everything. And it you breathe this. The planes oh. cannot cannot land in 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 uh, in some wow. places. Uh, so that's a hardship. There's also heat. We now live through different waves of heat in the, around the world. But uh, you know, March and April in Yola in 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 Africa in Nigeria. It's really, it was uh, really very hard for us. The electricity was not always working. Air conditioning was not always uh, for us. Uh, 
and um, no dangers of of uh, of uh, diseases, uh, malaria, amoeba that we had to protect, uh, cleaning everything wow. that has to be fresh eaten, eaten fresh, and uh, also snakes, mm. mambas, black mambas, uh, mm. poisonous snakes. People mm. di um, died. One of my friend, friends friends uh, almost died, and I saw snakes around me as well. So. So uh, the other uh, dangers there is there was an Islamist riot in 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 Yola in in March in, in 1984. We almost got into the middle of that when it outbroke. Wow. Over 1,000 uh, people were killed in this. Uh, almost quarter of the of the uh, of the city uh, was was destroyed. The so army this was, 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 I mean, I'm just thinking of all the things that you were battling. This is really a coming of age for you in under the most uh, stressful uh, situations and, and stressful outside uh, things that could affect you. Uh, definitely. Yeah. It was, it was a late coming of age. Yeah. You know, I lived in, in, in and this is a, the second leg of the story. I lived in uh, in in a socialist, you know, communist Poland behind the Iron Curtain. The contacts with the outer world were were uh, limited. Uh, you know, th some 30, 40 years ago, it was easier for one country to impose, like Soviet Union, to impose those kind of controls. Sure. It's not so easy these days. Um, so uh, I was. I was protected by my, my, my father, my family, and I considered to be living in a happy world, uh, a little bit, uh, you know, idyllic, and I, it made me a little bit naive about the world. And then I was, uh, I, I had troubles with, in my career. Uh, uh, Poland had a very bad time at that time. It was like, at some point, it was, uh, comparable to uh, Sri Lanka uh, recently, where there was no, uh, we had problems with with fuel, with food, meat, uh, you know, this kind. Of, and and there was there were riots, there were protests, workers protested, and so on and so forth. So I left uh, right after those events happened, and I was just thrown like a, I. It's kind of a, a state of of uh, weightlessness sure. uh, uh, and and then i started thinking what next what to do with all this new situation i i started earning you know us dollars uh, on that contract i i was uh, engaged in 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 a really interesting education even in, you know in this new new university and uh, I I was I, I was first thinking about staying in Nigeria, but Nigeria was uh, getting into troubles because uh, oil revenues were dropping. Uh, you know that that was the situation. A lot of hardships. You had to come through a lot of hardships. So to be, so yes. I was thinking about my future, and this is what I call suspended. So we have suspended in vast plain. Uh, I was suspended uh, mostly because. I didn't know if I going away, you know, breaking with Poland, if I will survive that. If mm. I, uh, you know, uh, breaking links to my culture, to my friends, and you know, to my family. Sure. Uh, if 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 I can survive that 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 situation, you know, in the in the new world, and I. Yeah. Looked at uh, people. I moved around. There were some uh, Westerners, Americans, uh, Italians, uh, uh, Danes, um, and I just figured out that I I can live with them. That yeah. that it's that they are they behave really differently from what I had in at home, which was right. everything was was based on a lie, on a big lie of of, of uh, communist socialism. And so so let me ask you this, because we do have just about a minute and a half left. Do you feel like these hardships and these people that you experienced, was this all leading to who you are now? 
Well, it's uh, it's a really difficult uh, to 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 judge uh, at this point. But I think I think especially uh, you know this is what I felt back then. Uh, Africa was an adventure, uh, but it made me stronger, maybe independent. Just uh, uh, I I convinced me that I don't have to rely on on my parents on on socialism on on the state. I came to the new country independent. I I was proud of this. I had my own money, and at, at the same time, I knew uh, how to deal with uh, adversities, with how to talk to people. Uh, that that changed me uh, in this period of, of just few years, dramatically, I would say. Stan, I would say that that is an amazing place to end and tremendous wisdom to take away because most of us are not dealing with malaria, wars, snakes, things like that. We see some of these problems that we're, we're encountered and living in as we can't overcome it. You are living proof that those issues, those problems, those things that you face, those, those challenges can make you stronger. And I love that about this book. Well, thank you. Thank you very much, Susan. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Stan, well, we want to thank Writers Republic for making this interview possible and just share with us. I know that that's available there uh, at Writers Republic as well as Amazon. And I imagine everywhere you can get books, right? I would appreciate, and uh, I, uh, I, I was about to have a, a blog. Uh, I will push my uh, publisher to open it up, and I will be happy to answer questions and talk more. I love that, Stan. Thank you so much, and have a great day. My pleasure, Susan. You too. Thanks.